We're at the end of a great day with people from uh, Lower Green talking about asset-based community development. And a uh, great opportunity to talk to Matthew Bocock, who's both chair of the National Community Foundation Network and deputy in the Surrey uh, Community uh, Foundation. And we were talking about sharing stories because there's so much good stuff happening, not just funded by... Um, your organisation's grants, but others. How might we do more of that? Well, I always fear that people are going to get some sort of amnesia and the, the, the amount of amnesia that takes place and the number of times where we reinvent wheels all over again. And I think there's a lot of ways in which we can harness social media to make sure we link up people that are really the conveners, the connectors, the people, the activists, the people who are making things happen, so that we don't rely on trying to find clones of Cormac to be able to spread the message, but instead people can share their experiences, share how they overcome problems with each other using social media rather than having to rely on Cormac coming to visit them every so often. And uh, you get around the country, I'm sure, talking to some of these uh, uh, local projects. Are you hearing similar stories from people? Is, uh, is there optimism out, out there? I think the people that are... Um, People are looking at, looking at things from a very historic point of view are deeply pessimistic because they've been so dependent upon a grant-based culture which is very much based on the external agencies devising the solutions and implementing them in communities. And I think they're deeply depressed. However, there is a tide that is changing. I think that fundamentally what we're talking about with ABCD is a shift in the way everybody views their role in society. It's about their contract between their, the, 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 their, the, them living in a community and their contract with the community around them and their right to be engaged, their right to be able to take from that community and their neighbours and give an exchange and to generate stronger communities as a result. And the people who are involved in that I think are incredibly optimistic because they see a really exciting change which goes to the very heart of the way our society operates. And that to me is very energising. So can foundations play a part in shifting from the grant dependency, currently pessimistic view, into some of the community building work we're talking about here? But I've also seen on the ground uh, in Manchester, for, for example, with Forever Manchester. Well, yes, very much so, except community foundations have shifted quite a lot themselves over the last few years because many of them used to be very dependent upon doing major national grant programmes, whereas more and more of them now have developed um, a community of engaged community philanthropists. Now, those philanthropists very often are engaged with change in their community themselves, so they're also people that need to be brought into the ABCD way of approaching things so that they're not giving grants anymore but as Cormac very succinctly said today, the funding ends up being a backstop once you've looked at all the assets there are in a community. So I think there's real opportunity to engage the, uh, the philanthropists in the ABCD approach so that their funding isn't passive grant funding, but it's actually something that encourages the asset-based approach.